Despite the holiday today, it marks a painful day for Ocean City. It's the two year anniversary since a fatal fire took the life of a beloved church leader at St. Paul's by the sea. Now a lot has changed since that November night. This includes where the Shepherd's Crook Fruit Food Pantry is located and how it's being operated. 47 ABC's Lili Zhang joins us live in the studio. Lili, you caught up with some volunteers from Shepherd's Crook. How are they doing? Michelle, overall, they were in pretty good spirits this morning, and as one volunteer tells me, they will never let that horrible day hold them back. If anything, it's made their organization stronger and bigger than ever. I was looking at John Sterner, didn't know who it was. Bruce Young stood just five feet away from John Sterner on November 26, 2013. Ocean City Police say Sterner, who frequented Shepherd's Crook, doused himself in gasoline, lit himself on fire and walked into the Shepherd's Crook food pantry. The flames spread, seriously injuring a volunteer and claiming the lives of Sterner and the St. Paul's by the Sea pastor, Reverend David Dingwall. I think in the early days he gave us a lot of uh, his personal support as we uh, dealt with different committees and concepts and ideas. Since the tragic night, the church reluctantly had to tear down the rectory due to fire damages. But Young, a volunteer coordinator, tells 47 ABC that with every tragedy comes growth. Shepherd's Crook moved to a new home on the 200 block of South Baltimore Avenue. And Thursday marked the second month. They have been offering food five days a week to the public. That's compared to just three days a week in years past. Plus extra help, about 15 new faces. Young says this was made possible by the financial and volunteer support from St. Paul's and five other Ocean City churches. OC Baptist, Presbyterian, Atlantic United Methodist, St. Peter's, Lutheran, and Holy Spirit, Episcopal Church. According to Young, Reverend Dingwall would be proud to see Shepherd's Crook is more than just a food pantry. Instead, it's a sign of community, solidarity, and healing. We're more than that day. I think we have the core of wonderful volunteers that are serving the Lord and serving our community. As we mentioned earlier in our newscast, Shepherds Crook said it would be very difficult to function without contributions and donations. So if you are looking to help, we have all that information on how you can. Just find the story on our website, 47abc.com. Michelle.